Most people in America are familiar with the differences between women and men, and many people who are undereducated, underemployed, and basically unsophisticated often make it break it down to what they feel is with regard to someone's package. The size of a person's package, the function of service pa a person's package, is rarely a part of the discussion. The immoralness of women and men who are not betrothed to one another is their abuse and misuse and misguided talk about someone's package. I'm going to talk today only briefly about someone's package because people like to dehumanize and sexualize other people's bodies that have no right to be a part of their discussion. On the one hand, they think they're funny. On the one hand, they think they're cute. But in truth, they're about to lose their money in a lawsuit. If life is about love, then all relationships in the world should be loving and kind. If life is merely about sex, then we should be talking to our children about how not to get prematurely pregnant to produce the costly expense of parenting a child. It is costly on many levels. It is costly in your reputation because when an elderly person who is of educated station sees your absolute utter abuse and neglect of your child, your lack of understanding of child rearing, they look at you and go, great, we got another one to deal with in society in the future. And that is precisely what we think. It is a form of judgment, but it is absolutely a wisdom discernment that a man who is educated about child rearing will look at a black child who just impregnated a girl at age 16 or 18 and go, what the fuck are you doing? You're a fucking fool and you deserve what you get with this. Because you will probably raise a child that you cannot control and you will probably raise a child that is not appropriate in his stage. Now, am I being racist by saying this? No, because I will say the same fucking thing to the white boys I see playing up and down the street in their hip-hop clothing. And I joke about that with my own self because my britches are often falling down at age 52, 53 because I've lost so much weight in my impoverishment and in God's health with my general overall health that I know what I can be. I also know that my clothing may not be the greatest and latest in terms of the clothing of a businessman, but that's because people who are players in the streets have cut my marvelous jackets and my quality clothing and stolen my appropriate sized clothing. And therefore it's hard for me to put on the professional look that I'd like to, but if I did that, then people would never understand that I'm in poverty and struggle. And I might never get help out of it, you see. 